Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to flip a house in the game known as House Flipper. And as the name suggests, in this game you pretty much just buy a house that is fairly run down. Look at this one, it's fairly dirty. Then you clean it up, you renovate it, maybe put in some radiators, new furniture, paint it and so forth. And then you sell it for a profit. That's the entire game. And it is an Oh, I mean, it's one of those simulator type of games, and I'm honestly surprised it's not called House Flipping Simulator. Though I'm also very happy that it's not, because almost all the games that are doing something specific just slaps on the name Simulator at the end, and it's honestly quite boring. But, this game is a game that I never thought that I would uh, ever play, because it's not really my type of thing. But, it's been quite a zen game to just kick back have a podcast on when you're, you know, not really feeling like doing much else and just paint a wall. It sounds really weird, but uh, it's it's quite compelling, you know, in its own weird way. So this is your office where you start. I've been playing this game a, a fair amount, so I have, I mean, I might as well show here. You have some perks in, in various skills, Negoti uh, negotiation, because you have both um, buying a house outright that is ver uh, fairly run down and then you have to renovate it as, you know, flipping a house, so to speak. And then you have different orders where you go to someone's house and maybe you should knock down a wall and, you know, make a new kitchen and whatnot. So there's those two uh, kind of gameplay elements. And then you also have, um, you know, you have some skills that you use uh, here, this negotiation, so you can you know, get a better price and uh, get more money from the different orders that you have and so forth. You have some cleaning, uh, the, you know, the cleaning skill, which you can upgrade. I've upgraded the long range. I will show you that later on. Uh, but I've been, uh, the only reason I'm showing this is that I've been playing for a fair amount. So I have better equipment, I guess, or better skills. So let's take a look here. Uh, you have a laptop in your small, shitty little office. I haven't bothered to clean this at all. It doesn't really matter. Why should I clean my own office? I'm not going to live here. Well, technically, I guess I do because I do have a bed here. But my office doesn't matter. I, I, I want to earn money. And then you get emails um, where you can, these are the different kinds of orders, where someone is uh, writing an email to you saying, yeah, I want to do this done and this done and this done. And then you go to the house and in different rooms you will have different things that you need to do until you reach a certain threshold and then you can finish the, the order and earn some cash. Don't need to do this, I've done most of them. Like I've done all of these. You can get them done without having to do everything or you can well, do everything. I, I'm guessing you get more money if you get it 100% done. Most of them I kind of just wanted to get out of the way. So you got about two orders left. So I played this game a fair amount. Just, you know, start the game in the evening, fix a house for like 20, 30 minutes, sell it, and then be done with it. I do already own a house here, but it's really big. It's three floors and whatnot, and I don't really feel like um, that, that is not, probably not going to be uh, the thing we need to go through. Uh, so let's find the house here. We have uh, many generations house. We have the home and car. Boring house. I mean, boring house, that sounds pretty boring. Let's go for the uh, many generations house. A great opportunity. A stand, a sturdy house from the 1930s on a large plot of land in a great location for major renovation. Sounds great. Let's buy it. I said buy the house. There we go. Let's go to the house and check it out. So there are various elements, like you can clean the windows, you have to pick up the trash from the floor. Look at here, we have a bunch of trash, you can just pick it up. Uh, before, when you start the game, you are not effective at all. Like, you have to pick up every individual piece of trash. You can, I've upgraded that, so don't need to be as slow. And uh, the thing with the cleaning too, it used to take a lot longer, but now I have increased range, it's all sweet. So honestly, if the game just put you in this position straight away, it would be more enjoyable. I, did not enjoy the first few hours as much because you're really ineffective. Like, you have to paint, I will go to the painting later on, I guess. Uh, but just the um, cleaning here, you have to go to a specific place. Like if there's a piece of, uh, like if there's some, some dirt here, you have to hold over here and then specifically clean. It's, um, it was annoying. As so you go around and clean the outside, if there's anything else, yeah, oh, here's some dirt, let's get out of the way. Excellent, so beautiful. Look, the house is starting to look nice already. I want, I am tempted to check. If you just like walk around and clean the house and don't do anything else and then sell the house, do you get a profit or do you not? I want to try that one day. And here we have a very, very bad shower. Let's sell that thing too. 
And you have on the side here, you have people that will uh, buy the house later and they will co um, complain mostly about things you do. Especially in the beginning. It's like, you took away the d destroyed toilet. Why is there no toilet? Well, maybe I'm, I'm working on it. It's like I'm holding some sort of webcam in my in my hands and they see every single movement I do. It's honestly quite annoying at times. Let's uh, get rid of that stupid mirror. And then you have the cleaning, the window. You have, get this thing and you clean the window. Very nice and relaxing, I guess, if you're into cleaning windows. Yeah. Looking better already. Is there anything we need to do here electronics-wise? No, we can uh, start to... Let's get uh, a sink. So you have a store here where you can buy certain things. Let's see, sink. Let's get one of these. Mountable sink. And then you have a second part of the gameplay, which is assembly. So you have to assemble the sink, which is mostly just clicking on the things that are highlighted. And uh, it will be all ready and up. There we go. Yeah. For some reason, this is very relaxing. I can't really explain why. It's like I've been... I don't know how many things I've, I've assembled right now. I, it's something that I would never do in real life, but in, in a game, just kicking back, relaxing, not really thinking about anything. It's uh, it's more enjoyable, I guess. Here we go. And, uh, radiator is done and ready. Shower. Let's have a shower. Showers take a bit of time. I don't. I'm not a big fan of showers. I mean, you have to do this this part. And you flip it, and you have to fix the drain, I guess. And then there's a, a ton of things that you need to do. So showers, not my favorite. Too many, too, too many things to fix. I would never install a shower in real life. I, I'd, I'd, I'd be one of those people that buy the house finished by someone that uh, has probably flipped it. Sure, I, I'll pay. A lot more than if I did myself. But then I'd pay for the convenience of not having to do it myself. Which is quite nice, honestly. And now I wonder if uh, there's some market for this here. I know there's uh, some American TV shows that are focused on this element of flipping houses and whatnot. Alright, so we have that. We need a toilet too. Let's fix, it, fix the toilet. Toilets are easy, you just bolt it down, place, place, place and place, done. Uh, anything else that we can do here? No, this is dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay, let's paint it then. So painting is another, another thing you can do. You can also tile it if you want to have uh, ceramic wall tiles. And tiling would probably be most appropriate, but I'm gonna show you why I don't like tiles. Like if we take these tiles for example, you buy tiles and then you tile. And you do one piece at a time, and there's a lot of pieces. It takes a long time, so I'm not a big fan of tiling. I am more like painting, because painting you can upgrade. Painting is great. Let's do a surplus here. It's gonna be a green, green bathroom. So you ro load up your paint roller. In the beginning you only have one thing here, and you can even overdo it, so you will waste paint. But now you can, up you can also upgrade it later on, when you've painted more walls. You do several at a time, and it's... I mean, look at this, it goes so quickly. It goes so quickly. It's wonderful. The bathroom, it's uh, its beautiful. Let's get this thing. This is gonna be a beaut. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe should have done this before mountain shower. Hindsight is... Um, what, what, what did you say? 2020? Sure, let's call it 2020. There we go. And this, like in when you buy a house, that's my favorite part. It's all dirty, it's all shit. Oh no, there's one piece left. Do I have enough paint for it? I did. Wonderful. See, this is, this is done. Okay, let's uh, maybe do floor tiles. Floor tiles, however, goes much quicker. We should not have blue, we should probably have uh, these uh, grey tiles. Yeah, just... Yeah. Maybe you even know that here is some dirt too. And it's like new. 
It's brand new. It looks really nice. It's a shit lamp, but I don't, I don't care about the lamp. It's a stupid lamp. We can, we can stay. Uh, one thing I'll say is that the frame rate uh, struggles at time to, from time to time. It's also very house dependent, I've noticed. So ha some houses struggle a lot and others not as much. We're gonna need a bit of plaster here to cover that hole in the uh, wall. There we go. Also upgraded that so it goes much quicker than it otherwise would. Is there any other holes that are here? Look at this. This is, this is dirty. Let's get away all the trash. I wonder if there's any cockroaches here. Doesn't seem to be. There's some trash here too. Should get rid of all of this. It's just stupid things, stupid things. Ah, oh, no, a bit more trash. Yeah, I get it, family. We need to properly clean it up, but we will. We have to. I wish there was a mass buy or a sell so you could just sell all of this crap. There we go. And now they're gonna complain soon that, oh, no kitchen, are you serious? Yes, I am serious. There will be no kitchen in this house. I need a place for my science magazines. Sure, sure. Because you totally put that in the kitchen. Silly person. And, look at this. Oh, so beautiful. Cobweb, not beautiful. And they always, like, it grinds my gears when they complain. Like, why is this not being cleaned yet? I'm working on it! I am seriously working on it. But it gets very repetitive after a while, I will be honest. I play this fair, a fair amount for some reason. Still can't explain why. It's just a zen experience. It's just relaxing, somehow. You need to go to all and then search for radiator. Place down a new radiator here. But it's just one game where you can play for maybe 20, 30 minutes at a time. And then you have to take a break. Just go do something else. During those minutes, it's uh, surprisingly fun. It's just, uh, I, I hope that they will add some way, like you get this whole plot of land outside, but it would be great if you could extend the house. Because right now you can tear down the walls and make new new rooms if you so desire. I I don't see much point. I mean, you're, a, you're flipping a house, right? You're not really making too much profit if you're gonna, you know, redo the entire house. But it would be great if you could extend the house, but build uh, a new part of the house outside and whatnot. It would be... Uh, would be pretty great. There we go. And we need a bit of plaster. There we go. And fix that. And again. To fix that part. I guess this will be the bedroom. You know, this could be the bedroom. Let's make a bedroom. We'll do better. We need another radiator. We will need uh, the radiators. They're fairly easy and quick to install, so I don't really care too much. All right, let's do this. Uh, which uh, paint should we have for this room? Uh, I don't know. We could do it pink. We could do purple quartz. We could do spring grass. Laughing strawberry. This is what it will be. Before you get the skill for uh, to unlock painting more than one segment of the wall at a time, it takes a lot longer. But now it goes so quick and nice that you can get through a house in no time. If only it was this easy to fix a house in real life, then I would actually probably do it. I mean, cleaning and renovating a house sounds like boring things, but it's more like, okay, games, video games are like, um, I like board games in that, in that sense. Like, there's, you know, for most of the famous board games are about menial tasks. Like, is it Agricola that is just about having a farm and stuff? But yet is uh, regarded as one of the better board games that are out there? There's like these tasks that otherwise wouldn't be that fun, at least not in real life, that makes just 
good experiences. Like just painting this room just makes a huge difference. Look at this, this is beautiful now. Let's get rid of these lamps too. Let's have another, we should find the ceiling lamps. Maybe we should take these reflector lamps and put them out there. There we go, and we should light it up. This is an ugly door, but it will stay. I guess I can't be bothered to shut the door. All right, let's find a bed. Which bed should we have? Should we have this warmy? Let's do warmy. It can be as it is. Wow, this is big. This is a big bed. I like it. Let's have it uh, there. And we can have a, a bedside. It's called bedside table. Let's have them in black. There we go. Nice bedside table. Probably gonna complain about something. A big bedroom, great. And so someone is gonna complain about having too big of a bedroom or something. Let's have uh, a wardrobe. It can be um, can be placed here on this side. There we go. And then we can have a drawer. Let's have these drawers. Do you fit here? Will you fit here maybe? No, you will. Ah, wonderful. There we go. And this is what people really love. I mean, this is how you get people to buy a house. Watch this. And I don't think the replacement uh, matters at all. So we could just place it like this. Yes. The TV in the bedroom. How do you like that? I can't sleep here with a TV. So some people will like that, some people will not like that. And the people that are at the top there on the left, um, they are the ones that will probably pay the most. Alright, so we have a bedroom, more or less done. All right, that is a very bad placement. We need to move it a bit closer to the wall. There we go. There we go. It really doesn't matter too much. Alright, here we should have... Uh, I think the entrance could be white. Let's paint it white. It's great. Can we have some you know, music in the background? To fix up everything. Can I clean this? I mean, this is the one thing that annoys me a little bit. Like this door doesn't look clean. And I wonder if this is fact um, factored into anything at all. I hope it's not, but I don't really feel like replacing the entire door like that. I just kind of wish I could clean that door. So it will, wouldn't be uh, annoying. You have to repair a few walls, probably in this last room. Yep. This is dirty. Get rid of things. That thing over there. There we go. And uh, oh, there we go. Another thing there. Now look at them. They are getting. Uh, they're getting happier. It would be nice to have a desk near the bed. All right, we will have a smaller bedroom, I guess, with a desk. Or maybe we should make this into an office. Maybe we should have it into... Not much dirt left. Oh, that's great to know. Actually, we should probably clean the floor. This goes so much faster with these upgrades. Damn. And clean the window real quick. Could have tried to do like this, but it's not as uh, effective, I guess. But it works. Sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. All right, let's have a radiator. We try to make this into an office, honestly. Office and I guess storage room, so we can have bookcases and whatnot. First, we need a nice color for this um, here room. I wonder what color we should have. We could do the paint. Paint, 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 paint. I mean, if you're gonna have, maybe if you're gonna have an office, you need purple. Sure, definitely. Purple is needed. So 
you need that, that nice little purple to concentrate on whatever you're working on. I got another skill. Let's see, what can we upgrade? 75% faster painting. Done. It's also the only thing that I can pick. So now it goes really fast to paint the walls. Goes really damn quick. Even though I I overestimate how quick it goes. Fix those walls first. There we go. Windows, windows. Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe I should, you know, I should make a career change. I should become a house decorator. I should flip houses. Yeah. My new true calling in life. Flipping houses. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Absolutely astounding. Let's do an office. Let's have a desk. No, maybe you shouldn't search in uh, bed with a desk. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Corner desk, standard desk, standard desk. Let's do a corner desk. It'll... Yes, this is a desk. All yeah, right. There we go. It will have to do. And then we need to have a letter. Let's have a letter chair if we can. No, there's no letter chair? Fine, let's have an office chair. And if you wonder why I can't press the right button, it's because I'm keeping a... I was gonna say blanket, but a towel. God damn it. There we go. Finding the O key. Apparently, really hard. But I have a towel over my hands to try to limit the sound from it. It's not very conducive when I have to find the things that I um, need. Uh, a computer, can we search for a computer? Computer, Sphinx. We'll include a computer. This is not something you should do if you're flipping a house. Just add in a computer for them for free. Serves absolutely no purpose. At least I don't think so. Monitor HD. Of course we need an HD. Damn, this is a big monitor. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have to sit a bit further away from this. All right, with that in mind, we need now a bookcase, I guess. Bookcase, bookcase, Ven. No, I don't like it. Let's have uh, this bookcase limb instead. go. Need anything else? Maybe you should have some drawers? I don't know. Maybe you feel like having drawers in your office. Now it becomes a home library. I'll find it. Let's just have a TV here then too. Let's have a TV. Do we have a, a couch or something? Do we have another, let's say, chairs? We have a nice comfy chair that we can sit down in. Armchair! Yeah, there we go. If you ever need to watch some TV, you can do that here in your office. You sit down here, grab a book, and then watch TV. Which is exactly how you read books, trust me. There's some cobweb. And now we only have the kitchen left. Now they think, look, I like it clean. I think this is perfectly clean. Of course it is. It's done by... Well, us, I suppose. Alright, what paint to have in... Um in the kitchen. What is a nice nice color to eat food to? Mandarin. Maybe you need maybe you're eating a mandarin. Maybe not. Yes. So this is pretty much the entire game. When you start out in the game you're very ineffective. You are in the office, you have to do some of these um, offers, orders that you get emails from before you can uh, have enough money to buy a house. But after you flip a few houses then you have enough money to do whatever the hell you want. Like I bought the most expensive house and still have $100,000 left so after only a few hours the game becomes really trivial in the sense that you can advance uh, much and you experience most of the elements rather quickly. Like you can see here we have uh, move objects, clean, paint, sell objects, build walls, build intel, lintels, 
demolition and tiling and paneling. And this thing got me confused, but it's the part um, above uh, doors apparently. So this is a lintel, this is a wall. That's the only difference. So those are the things you can do. There are not much else. You can you have um, a bunch of various items in the store that you can place out uh, if you so desire. So you can decorate it as much as you want. I don't know how much that affects uh, how much mon uh, money you can sell the house for uh, after all, but you can do it. So if you like to just you know, play the sims, I guess, to decorate houses and whatnot. It does have a bit of element there, but it's not as well developed. There's not that many things you can add in. Um, so, I mean, to each is uh, their own. I mean, some some people will absolutely hate this. This is a waste of time uh, for most people. Usually for myself included. But for some reason, I just found this very relaxing. Very relaxing. All right, let's have a kitchen. And now I can uh, tell the frame rate is starting to chug a bit. Maybe we should have a kitchen set with sink. And place it here, in the corner. Yeah. Do we have any home appliances? We could have a gas stove. Like that. We should have a refrigerator. Double door refrigerator. I mean, that's all you need. That's all you need in life. And now we need uh, some sort of uh, wrap up table. Probably it should search it all for table. Dining table. Classic dining table in dark red. Could even have two of these. Actually, we should have it here in the kitchen. We should have a kitchen a specific eating place, so we could have um, a general watching TV area. Then we have chair, and we should have just a classic chair in black orange. So this is a smaller dining area, I guess you cook your food here. We should have a microwave too. Let's find a microwave. Once again. Can't uh, spell or remember how the keyboard looks like. God damn it. There we go. I found it. Is this even is the right direction? Alright. And then you have uh, those dining chairs. Chair, classic. Classic chair. Let's have a white, some white chairs. Just to mix it up. There we go. And a sofa. Let's have a sofa. Sofa, sofa, sofa. Which one? Let's do it uh, the most expensive one. Price ascending. No, descending. The sofa. Corner sofa. Looking pretty. I like it. Nice. Nice. Wonderful. So let's have a TV cabinet. Most expensive TV cabinet, classic TV cabinet. Let's have it here. Yeah, and then I have a TV we set on top here. And then we should have some loudspeakers to make it loud. Annoy all the neighbors. And have one of these horizontal ones. Now we're gonna have good, nice sound. Maybe we should have a loudspeaker like here as well to really deafen those ears. Yeah, and then we can have one right here too. Make sure that these people will never be able to hear anything. Can we place anything on the table? No, we can't. Okay, let's have one here. That's from that direction too. And maybe a horizontal one to have, um, I don't know. I don't know exactly where it will be. You have it right here. Yes, another one. All right, so I think they will have good sound now. Excellent sound. I don't think the house is done. I mean, you have um, this beautiful thing here. You walk in, you have a welcome mat. You turn to the right and you go into your office. You can sit down, watch some TV, or you can go to your computer and play stuff or do stuff in your office. Or you could go here into the toilet. 
which has everything you need. You can wash your hands, you can go to the toilet, you can take a shower even. Or you can go in here, cook uh, some food, which in my case pretty much is throw something into the microwave and then just go over here, sit and eat. Or you could go over here, have great sound and watch some TV. Or you could go to bed inside this house, uh, room where you can't really enter because I didn't really think of that. So it's fine, you can just jump on top of the bed to go around. And you can change your clothes and watch some TV. So TVs are plenty. I can't exactly get out of it. There we go. All right, so maybe not as uh, well designed. Maybe I should not fix houses in real life. Doesn't matter. The house is, is uh, beautiful. It's ready. Let's sell it. Many directions house. You bought a house for $54,561.16. The house has five rooms. You have been working in this house for 26 minutes and 55 seconds. Start auction. A big bedroom, how sweet. All right, so 85,000 already making huge profits here. 87,000 now. 90,000, 91. Okay, come on, a bit higher, you can do this. Jimmy Trader, he is offering 90, ugh, come on, I want to have 100,000 at least. Dolan Trusk, I don't know who you're supposed to represent, but you were 93,000. And Rafael Arco, 97. Okay, we can probably negotiate this price up above. Let's see here. Maybe we should try like 8,000. Negotiate. Cool, I'll take it. Great. So we got a uh, $42,000 profit. I accept that offer. Should have a bling there for an achievement. A beautiful, beautiful achievement. And then we're done. Flip the house in like under half an hour, just like in real life. So, if you ever wonder what you need to do, if you have a spare hundred thousand dollars left, you can just go and buy a house and flip it and sell it and earn a lot of money. Because, you know, it takes only half an hour to flip a house. So this is pretty much, this is, I mean, flip, a house flipper, that's what you do. I mean, the name suggests that you flip houses. And the game the gameplay is very basic. It's quite repetitive, so if it's not your thing, and if you don't enjoy just doing menial tasks, and then just see how you enter a house that is completely desolate, or destroyed, or... I don't know, has cockroaches all over the, over the place, and then you refurbish it, and you're walking in, and it looks nice and clean. If you don't enjoy that sensation, that, uh, that process, then uh, skip it. Don't play it. But if um, you're just looking for a game that you can play and be relaxed and uh, watch or listen to some podcast or TV show or whatnot, then I, I think it's worth a few hours at least, or worth at least a shot. You could always refund because that's what Steam is if you don't like it. After, I mean, the first two hours it is. All right, this is it. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Beep beep.